Now, do you guys want to play Destiny 2 early? Well, here's your chance. If you want to win one of my weekly beta call giveaways for Destiny 2, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment. Winners will be picked and announced on a Sunday. So the more you comment and like my videos, the more of a chance you've got of winning one of these beta codes. Good luck. What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today I'll give you guys my recommendations of what you should spend your legendary marks on come the weekly reset on the 25th of April 2017. Now the Crucible Quartermaster uh, this week hasn't got much of that good. I mean one or two weapons which are all okay uh, but I probably still wouldn't recommend you wasting your marks on them. Now the first one which is quite decent is the Anton's Rule. Here you can see we've got Hot Swap, we've got a uh, Casket Mag and we've got Outlaw which isn't too bad for a sidearm and we've also got Sure Shot as well. So if you are in need of a sidearm quite desperately you could give this a try. I mean I haven't actually tried this one myself quite yet but I am actually getting used to sidearms and I'm really enjoying them. So and a roll like that isn't too bad. Another weapon that ain't too bad this week either is the Horrend Horizon which is the sniper rifle. We've got on this we've got Short Gaze, we've got Mulligan, we've got Casket Mag or Armour Piercing Rounds with Unflinching. But again, do you really need a sniper rifle? I mean, how long have you been playing again? Like, you've got to have had a decent one drop already. But that's it, guys. I mean, the uh, palindrome this week isn't terrible, but it's far from great. I mean, we've got spray and play with um, reactive reload, which is a great, great matchup. But then we've got reinforced bow, which drops stability. I mean, if this was rifled, rifled, spray and play, and uh, reactive reload, maybe with sure shot as well, which isn't here this week, it would be, it would be half decent. But unfortunately, it hasn't got the rolls, and in my opinion, save your marks. I mean, the hero formula this week as well with the crucible quartermaster isn't too bad. Um, as you can see, we've got a uh, life support, we've got brace frame, and we've got reactive reload. We've also got taking knee as well, which a lot of people are ranting and raving about, but I've never actually tried that myself. But to be honest, I've actually got this with a perfect roll, and it just doesn't feel right to me. It's a fast firing scout rifle, as you can tell by the red fire impact, but it still just does not feel right. I mean, it could be just me and being shit at PvP, but yeah. It is what it is, but another weapon as well. Only if only this thing had a tripod on it, it would be great. We've got an cluster bomb, a heavy payload, army of one, grenadier, and perfect balance with soft launch and hard launch. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's quite. You can see the blast radius is ridiculous. We've got heavy payload as well, which also increases that. But and um, Cluster Bomb, which is great as well for, we all know Axis, even though Axis isn't challenged mode this week. Uh, we are back to Kurota, but yes, um, it is what it is now. Let's go check out the Lord Checks and see what armors he offers this week and if there's anything tier 12 compatible. Okay, so we've got these gauntlets here, 5840. Yes, they are tier 12 compatible. That equals 898. Uh, so they're definitely tier 12 compatible on gauntlets. You're after 96 or higher. So yes, they're quite decent. Um, 256, no, they ain't. Um, 3122. They're literally a couple off, to be honest. Uh, we then have this chest piece, which again is not tier 12 compatible. Um, 3423. Yes, that is. These are just about tier 12 compatible. So if you need an intellect strength uh, ghost um, to help you with your tier 12 gear, this ghost shell right here would help. We then have uh, intellect strength, uh, intellect discipline, sorry, 3224, that equals 56, no. And then we have 31, no, they ain't, that does not either. And what about the helmet, 59, 45, no, that does not either. Uh, so there's only a couple of pieces to a 12 gear right here with the Crucible Handler, uh, Lord Shax himself. Um, so yeah, uh, if you need that shit, you know where it is. Now what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to skip to the Vanguard Quartermaster and see if there's anything there worth spending your marks on. So I'll catch you back in a quick second. Okay, so we are at the Vanguard Quartermaster and again, pretty bad week for the Vanguard. I mean, there's, there's nothing here. <laughs> there's nothing here. The Continental, which can be with that perfect roll. The, the roll he saw two weeks ago 
was absolutely great. Um, had perfect balance on it, it had counterbalance on it, and I believe it had rodeo. I'd probably wait for that roll again. Uh, when it does come, guys, I will be sure to let you know. Uh, but there's, it's this one, it, I mean, it's got a uh, rifled or hand laid stock, but it severely reduces range, hand laid stock does, although it gives it great stability. That paired with spray and play and third, I would make an okay PvP weapon, but like I said, without that range, I mean, you could spit further, you really could. So yeah, uh, skip that this week. The uh, Parthian shot as well is pretty bad this week. We've also got the Angel's Advocate, which isn't the greatest uh, scout rifle to start with. So that would need to be an absolute perfect roll before I'd even suggest you guys waste your marks on that. We then have the How Dare You, which looks okay, but look, it's just the archetype of hand cannon, in my opinion, is real bad. Uh, we've got Hidden Hand, we've got Reinforced, we've got Last Resort, and we've got Mulligan. With Fast Draw, Quick Draw, and True Sight. Uh, but yeah, skip that shit. We don't want that shit. But there's, no, there's nothing here. There's nothing great here. I mean, a Teacup Tempest, it's a sidearm. Uh, that, in my opinion, is let down by its lower magazine size. Uh, this actually, the assembly uh, required, not acquired, the assembly required isn't too bad. I mean, it isn't too bad this week. I mean, we've got cluster bomb, we've got heavy payload, we've got perfect balance, vacuum, life support, we've got soft launch, we've got hard launch, and we've got warhead veneer. So it isn't too bad for a rocket launcher, but do you really need one? I mean... If I was you, uh, if you haven't done Crota this week, I'd grind Crota and try and get the, um, what's it called now? My mind just gone completely blank. I've got it on me, I should have it on me. Yes, this one right here, the Hunger of Crota. Animal of a rocket launcher, it really is. Great, great rocket launcher for both PvE and PvP. Uh, but nothing here, real guys. I mean, the Razor. Uh, but do you need a shotgun that shoots this quick? With uh, such a low impact, it just, you just can't hit nobody with it. I don't think you do. Uh, so for the Vanguard this week, I can't really suggest to you guys you waste your marks on anything. So let's check out what Dead Orbit's got. Okay, guys, so we are at Dead Orbit. And believe it or not, guys, again, another pretty bad week right here. I mean, none of the armors um, are tier 12 compatible. Only one goal shell is, and that's this one right here. But it's discipline strength. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, so weapons. I mean, this extrema file 011 was okay last week. I mean, on this week's one, we've got persistence, perfect balance, uh, armor piercing rounds, or snapshot. We do have sure shot as well, but you want counterbalance in this thing, you really do. Perfect balance isn't necessarily needed when you've got counterbalance. Um, so, yeah, don't waste your marks, guys. Do not waste your marks. A weapon I do think is undercover is this one right here, the Keystone. I have a feeling uh, other content creators will probably make videos about this later on down in the week uh, because it could be actually quite a decent PvP weapon. We've got on it crowd control, perfect balance, which it does need. I mean, it shoots real slow. Well, not real, real slow, but it shoots slow. And But you think, well, it wouldn't really need that much ability. But the balance on it's pretty bad. So with perfect balance to help that out, I think it could be pretty decent. We could pair it with Outlaw, with um, Crowd Control, it's up to you. Um, but then we have Explosive Rounds or Lightweight. Here I'd probably use Lightweight, to be honest. Lightweight, uh, Perfect Balance and Crowd Control. Um, scopes ain't the greatest, but still not too bad. So yeah, guys, um, mark my words... Content creators will make videos about this sooner or later down the week. You'll see. You will see. Um, I might actually get that and try it out myself, to be honest. Um, and that's it, guys. There's nothing else great here. I mean, the sniper rifle for PvE isn't too bad, but the problem is it's low impact, so it's just not that great. <laughs> and we've got Ambush, we've got uh, Quick Draw or High Caliber Rhymes, we've got Hammer Forged or Clan Cartridge, and we've got Firefly. So it would make a decent. PvE weapon. It's just a shame about the low impact. It really is. It really is. And guys, that's it. I mean, there's nothing else great here. There really ain't. I mean, the rocket launcher, grenades and horseshoes, in my opinion, just does not work anymore. It really don't. So we're going to check out future walk on and see if there's anything there. We can spend our marks. Okay, guys, so we are at future war coat. And guess what, guys? Another week of being bad. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing great here. I mean, okay, so there's a couple of tier 12 compatible pieces of armor. We've got this class item here, which is tier 12 compatible, and it's intellect 
discipline so yes not too bad and we've also got two goal shells one being discipline strength um and the other one being intellect strength both um are tier 12 compatible but weapon wise there's nothing here there's just nothing here worth spending your marks on. I mean, the wound is probably the best thing we've got this week. Let's take a closer look at it. We've got an crowd control, hammer forge, unflinching, and full auto. I mean, it could be quite good. I've actually got a full auto version of these I've yet to use in PvP, so it could be quite good. But at this moment in time, I would not recommend wasting your marks on it. I mean, this week's pretty bad, guys. It really is. The whale can be a great, great hand cannon. Well, well, um, underrated, but the roll this week's shit. Um, the waltz, bad roll as well. I mean, there's nothing here. There's nothing here, to be honest. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to New Monarchy, and I'll catch you guys back in a quick second. Okay, guys, so we are at New Monarchy, and again, a real bad week. It's been a bad week all round. I can't believe it. I just can't believe how bad it is, to be honest. I mean, okay, tier 12 compatible gear we got here. We've got this class item right here, which is intellect discipline. And we also have this gold shell right here, which is also intellect discipline. The only two pieces of tier 12 compatible armor new monarchy has to offer this week. But weapons, there's just nothing here. Okay, the sniper rifle is good, um, but nothing else. And again, like I've said, how many sniper rifles do you really need? Man, they ain't rare anymore. Uh, but this is nothing, I mean the hand cannon, at first glance you think, well that could be quite decent. Well it's the archetype of hand cannons, just real bad. I mean we've got range finder, outlaw, but we've got no other uh, range perk. I mean okay, I'm a piece of rounds, had the duck to range, but that's it. But yeah, I mean there's, there's nothing here. The sniper rifle is probably the best thing. It really is. And what we've got on this, we've got on it short gaze. We've got quick draw or armor piece and rounds. We've got perfect balance or triple tap with unflinching. Um, so not a bad sniper rifle roll at all. But there's just nothing here. It's a shame. There's just fuck all to spend your marks on this week. Um, but then again, you may have seen something you, that takes your fancy and you may buy it. And there's, like I said, there's quite a few pieces of tier 12 compatible armor here and gear, uh, gold shells and class items, etc. So you may find something which you need this week. But for me, there's just nothing here. And guys, that is it for another weekly refresh uh, recommendation video. If you enjoyed it, do smash that like button. I do appreciate the support. Remember to be in with a chance of winning my weekly Destiny 2 Better Call giveaway. Simply drop a comment down below subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos thanks as always though for stopping by and i will as always people see you on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we stand but you and i will carry on we never get it right